peace and love. Welcome to Sweeten the Pot of Life with Tanya. I am here to inspire, to motivate, and to encourage you to be the best version of yourself. As I share with you, I share with me. <laughs> okay. So I have a question to ask. Do you have faith? <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you have faith in yourself? Do you have faith that you will get the desires of your heart, that you will fulfill the desires of your heart? Do you have faith in your talents, in your abilities? Do you have faith in yourself? Mm. I have a quote. <clears throat> Excuse me. The stronger the faith, the better the life. The more faith you have, the better your life is. When you have faith in yourself, you have faith in the God in you. You have faith in your understanding of God. When you have faith, you have this energy that is strong, it is vibrant, it knows all things. It knows all about you. It knows the depths of who you truly are. Let me give you an example about faith. A few days ago, my outdoor cat Blondie, who has been in my care for like nine, almost ten years, <clears throat> and no, I can't bring him inside. Circumstances uh, situations do not allow that to happen but I let him into the garage in the winter months when it's cold and he's in here now with me because I do all my work out of the garage because I love the garage it's my sacred space and I can look out and see a view of abundance and I love it I love it I love it I love it so Blondie and I we hang out a lot and um, a few days ago Blondie couldn't go to the bathroom and he seldom used the litter box. He usually does his business outside. But this particular day he went to the litter box like three times and nothing came out. And I was like, hmm, what's going on with Blondie? <coughs> excuse me. And then I noticed that, excuse me, there's an area where he goes to hang out in the front of the house there are hedges and he goes up underneath the hedges and he hangs out there and he was there for a good amount of time oh dragonfly thank you it just landed on the computer and opened its wings thank you so much for your medicine um and this went on for like three days he would come in the garage and then he'd go right back to being under the hedges. And uh, one day, out of those three days, I, when he came in the garage, I picked him up and I felt a lump near his rectum. And I was like, oh, what is that? <laughs> and I knew my resources. And I said, and I knew that the car wasn't working properly. <laughs> so I said, okay. What is this? And of course, I did the Google search. <laughs> and I said, well, it could possibly be a hernia because he eats a lot of dry food. And I try to get the best, you know, sometimes, you know, I get the best that I can afford to get at the time. So, okay. There's something popped up. Anyway, um... So I said, okay, well, I know he eats to dry food, and then there's, you know, the best snacks that I can get him. Um, but I felt this lump, and I was concerned, and I was concerned if it was a hernia, you know, that can cost anywhere from 500 to $2,000. And I was like, Lord, <laughs> look, if Blondie is supposed to live, then you will provide the resources or you will take care of it okay 
because you know what's happening on this side of the fence. And I decided to let go. Of course, not immediately, because I love this cat, you know, but I just knew that what I had to work with was not going to be able to tend to him at the vet. And I also knew that the car was not working properly. I mean, it's the car that we borrow at this particular time. Have access to everything but own nothing, so to speak. So, um, I decided, I said, okay, I have to let go. I have to let go and let God handle this because I, I can't. I, 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 I love him, you know. And then after a few days, he came in and he wasn't eating. He wasn't drinking any water. And of course that concerned me. So nonetheless, I did buy some canned food because I said, all right, if it's the dry food that's causing this to happen, I need to give him something wet. And so I bought some canned food and gave him a little bit at a time and he ate it. And this went on for like three days, a little bit at a time throughout the day. And then pretty soon, you know, he was feeling his frisky self and every day when I felt for the lump, it started to diminish. You know, it got smaller and smaller and he had been licking the area and licking it and I could see where it had opened and he was licking it and licking it and he was healing himself. And I gave thanks for that. Now the lump is gone completely. Um, I didn't pick him up this morning, but I do know the lump is gone because I felt yesterday and I noticed that the lump was gone. And uh, the area is, is drying up where he had licked it to open it so that whatever was in there would come out. And uh, he's his spry self again. And he's not hanging out under the hedges as much as he was. He hangs out with me, sits at my feet, you know, or sits someplace else in the garage. And I'm so thankful. I had faith that he would be fine. I had faith that everything would work out as it should. I, I should say that. I had faith that everything was going to work out as it should. And that's the kind of faith that keeps me going. I have a husband who's on dialysis. My father was on dialysis. You know, so for my husband to be on dialysis, it's like, oh. But through prayer, just like the prayer for Blondie, through prayer, with you know an intercessor okay i have faith my husband and i have faith that his kidneys will be regenerated made new no transplant he's not going to be on dialysis for the rest of his life he's going to heal he is healing this is the faith that we have having faith makes your life a whole lot better okay it gives you more quality in your life when you have faith. It's like if, if there have been times when, let's say, there wasn't enough money to do certain things, and it's like, God's got this, okay? Whatever it is that we need, we're going to get. And that has always happened for us. So I know the bigger amount, okay, the larger picture that we see for ourselves, we are aligning with that. I see it from the work that I do every day because when I go to Facebook, when I come here, I call it work, okay? It's work that I love, all right? So, and I'm aligning, I'm seeing certain things happen. I have faith that what we want for ourselves will manifest for us because we're both on the same frequency and that helps. So you have to have faith. I would suggest you have faith. And I would suggest that you have a lot of faith. Have faith in the God in you. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the great spirit, the universe. Have faith. The faith of a mustard seed. And then let that mustard seed grow and give you more faith. Faith is a good thing to have. It really, really is, okay? So, <laughs> you gotta have faith. Mm -hmm. You gotta have faith. Oh, yeah, you gotta have faith. Have faith. If you don't have faith in yourself, why should anyone else have faith in you? 
it comes through you first and foremost okay so okay honey drops <laughs> available on Amazon this is my little workbook or you can call it maybe a little 30-day journal with different quotes and affirmations that I wrote in this little area where you can write you know so that link will be available in the description and also my affirmation pillows and this one of course is my favorite I give thanks for the fact that I'm a multimillionaire and I'm gonna tell you something being that I work out of the garage don't think I don't think about Google, Google and Amazon and Apple and Disney and Ford and all the rest of them who worked out of the garage and became ultra wealthy. You know, we have a lot of different charities and causes that we'd like to give more money to. You know, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, so faith is very important to have. And um, when you have that, keep it moving. Keep flowing with that faith. Also, oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and, you know, you like how I deliver my message <laughs> and that inspiration and motivation and encouragement, I hope you like it. I do. I really do. <laughs> you know, and you haven't subscribed, you know, I'd love for you to subscribe. And then, you know, that little bell that's right next to the word subscribe and notification bell that you can tap that bell and then you can be notified of when I do another video and if you feel so moved to share please do I'd appreciate it I also appreciate everyone who has purchased the book honey drops mm, bless your heart I also appreciate those who have purchased pillows Ooh. <laughs> bless your heart Yay! Thank you so much. And um, let me see what else. Yes. You know what I'm going to say. You are loved. You are lovable. And you are loving. Keep the faith, baby. And keep moving forward. Much love, many blessings, until next time.